All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of my Football Manager episodes. It's episode 10 now of my online game, where I'm West Ham manager, Hugh Wizzit is Arsenal manager, and True Geordie is Newcastle manager. And I'm on a pretty bad run of form. You guys gave me some advice on how I could turn that round. I mean, I need to use it quick. This is going to be a really hard episode, probably the hardest episode yet. Three Premier League games, Man City, Liverpool and Tottenham, right? Coming off the back of only two wins from my last 12 matches. To go through this, this whole episode without a win would be disastrous. Would be relegation form, that's for sure. I'm still in 12th because I had a really good start to the season. But that will quickly change if I don't start picking up points. Newcastle are bottom of the league, so True Geordie's definitely in trouble. And uh, he was, he's in 4th, so he's probably reasonably happy he's doing on par with what Arsenal expect a manager to get fourth place. The January transfer window has opened though. My main point of business this episode is moving on Andy Carroll, maybe Matty Jarvis as well, and using that money to get some new talent. Let's go. Okay, so Geordie says he can't afford 10, 10.5 mil, but he is happy to do an exchange deal. So I've just told him I'll take Gufran plus 2 million for Andy Carroll, or Sissoko plus 1 million for Andy Carroll, or a straight swap, Tim Krull for Andy Carroll. Let's see what he says. Okay, it's game day. West Ham face difficult Man City challenge. We are 4-1. to one. At home, we're 4-1. to one. They're 4-7 to seven on away. Obviously, they're Man City. They're going to be favourites here, even though they're playing away. They're fifth in the league, though. They're only fifth in the league. They're underneath Hugh Wizzy. In fact, if I get a point, even, against them here, Hugh Wizzy will absolutely love me. Maybe they'll do me a decent deal in a, in a transfer window. I've just seen that Ozil has got the most Man of the Match awards in the whole season so far. Bloody hell. Arsenal versus Tottenham is the North London derby that Wizzy will definitely want to win. Newcastle away against Hull in a relegation clash, 17th against 20th. And I obviously have Man City. OK, I think this is the team I'm going to go with against Man City at home. It's a 4-1-1-3-1 formation. My instructions are counter-attack and we're going to go direct passing and be more disciplined. Just trying to move the ball quickly and obviously we don't want to encourage too much flair. Oh, because against Man City, we need to be tight, you know? We can't afford too much risk. Okay, that's the Man City team. 4-4-2, Dzeko and Aguero, Lampard starts, Fernandinho, Nasri, Silva, Kolarov, Demichelis, Company, Zabaleta and Joe Hart. I wish I had a team of that sort of quality. I really do. Come on, boys. Just do something for me. Just turn up for once. I beg of you, please. Okay, we've got a corner. Cresswell puts it in. Collins. I thought he was going to put that in then. We've started okay. We've started Okay, we've actually had more chances than them. Oh, now I've spoken too soon. Lampard's got the ball. Fernandinho. Aguero. Oh, okay, we got it back. We got it back. No, we're giving it away straight away. Frankie Lampard against his old club. Oh, no. Nazri. What's Sammy going to do? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. No. No. Good save, Adrian. Oh, they've got another corner. David Silva puts it in. Come on, boys. Let's get rid of it. Uh-oh. David Silva. Fernandinho. Offside. 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 Why does it say offside at the bottom for Sacco? That's confusing me. It wasn't offside. It was a goal for Aguero, but it was confusing me because it said offside at the bottom. Crikey. Right, it's half time. It's 1 0 to them. Right, they've got another chance in the second half now. So, a good tackle, actually. Mark Noble, can we do something? Zerate just kicks it away. Morrison picks it up. Go on, Ravel. Go on, Ravel. Be a hero. Ravel. Valencia, hit it. No, Joe Hart with the big hands. They've got a corner now. Kolarov. Oh my god, Adrian just pulled out a wonder save. There's no shame in being 1-0 down to City, but the problem is we can't afford to lose games right now. We need to get some points together. Adrian with a goal kick. Kicks it straight to David Silva, embarrassingly. Sil well, Van der Ville get it. Come on, Zerate. Sacco, Sacco, Sacco. No, oh, what a tackle. I can't take it. I'd rather just not have any chances than just see them not go in. I'm bringing Jarvis on for Sacco, putting Zerate up front. Zabaleta with a throw in for them. Fernandinho. Zabaleta, Fernandinho, Silva, Lampard, Frankie Lamp is always going to be scoring against his old club. Fourth goal of the season for him apparently, we're 2-0 down, I think it's all over, we're not going to get two goals against them. Juvetic for them, Navas, don't score another, we don't deserve to concede another, well we have. Oh, I'm going to get sacked boys, I'm going to get bloody sacked, 3-0 at home. Oh dear. So for some reason at this point my mic decided to stop working so I'm just voiceovering this bit but as you can see Hugh Wizzy actually lost to North London Derby 2-1. He won't be happy. True Geordie picked up a point away at Hull in a relegation six pointer. What does that mean for the league? True Geordie remains in 20th position two points off Leicester in 19th. I'm dropping dangerously close to the relegation zone now down to 14th place and Hugh Wizzy is down to 5th. Okay True Geordie has made me an offer for Andy Carroll. He's offered me Sim De Jong who they signed in the summer for 6.75. His value 
dude at 9.75, who's 25 years old, same age as Andy Carroll. He's offered me him plus one million, okay? Pfft, I don't know whether to take it, to be honest. I just don't want Andy Carroll anymore, really. But I was hoping to get some money that I could then use to strengthen the squad. So I'd rather have money than a player. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what, I am going to say 1.2 million and Sim De Jong, and then we'll have a deal. Well, the De Jong deal was accepted, but I couldn't offer him a contract because I've got so little money for wages and for transfers that the most I could offer him was like 13k a week. He wanted like 40. There was no middle ground we could reach to. The board would not let me offer more. They wouldn't give me more money, so I don't think a swap deal is going to work. I even offered West Brom, Andy Carroll and Matt Jarvis in exchange for Berahino, but I don't think that's going to work either because I can't offer wages until I get any more money. Okay, I'll struggle to do any transfer business in the time between uh, the Man City game and my new game now, which is Liverpool. I don't want to lose three games in a row, but it's going to be difficult. I did beat these guys at home at the start of the season, so maybe I can do something away. I've got Tottenham in three days, though, so I've got to be aware of that. This is the team I'm looking at playing. Valencia up top, Downing and Zarate on the wide areas, Nolan in the middle, Poirier for a rare start, and Noble in the defensive midfield positions, Taylor Collins, Reed Jenkinson, at the back, Adrian in goal. Let's see what we can do. Arsenal are playing Reading away in the FA Cup. Okay, I don't think Newcastle have got a game. Liverpool's team, Sturridge and Balotelli, Coutinho behind them, Henderson, Allen, Lucas Leiva, Flanagan, Lovren, Skirtle, Johnson and Mignolet. Oh dear. Come on, boys. I would love it if we can beat these boys. I will love it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sturridge with the ball for Liverpool in the 39th minute. He's passed to Coutinho, to Balotelli. Balotelli's hit the bar and it's come off and Jenkinson's cleared it. Wow, that was close. Okay, it's half time. Uh, they've had 60% possession. I haven't had a shot, but it's nil-nil. So there is a chance we can get something at the moment. Jenkinson with the throw in to Valencia, to Jenkinson, to Zarate. Zarate, Zarate, no ball, Valencia. So, oh my God. Okay, I'm taking Zarate off for Sacco, putting him up top, Valencia out wide. They've got a corner. Henderson puts it in. No! We can't defend corners for our lives. We concede so many goals from set pieces. Nolan, own goal. For God's sake, man. We've got to go for it. We've got to go for it, boys. Attacking. Just might make something happen. Let's go overload then. Route one. Let's do it. Seconds left. It's not going to happen for us. Unless we get something right now, it looks like they're going to get something because we've pushed up. We've gone attacking. What is Adrian doing? That's like in FIFA when you go all out attacking and you get caught out at the end. I mean, that was a risk we took when we went for it. Can't even get a goal, let alone a win. Full time, it's all over. We're struggling. We're really struggling. The only positive of that game is that Diego Poirier was my best player. He played a 7.1, so I'm going to have to use him more often. Wow, Hugh Wizzy has got through in the FA Cup on penalties against Reading in the replay. He struggles against the weak teams. Yeah, he's got through, but remember he got knocked out of the Capital One Cup by Colchester. Well, as if we needed reminding that Hugh Wizzy is literally on a different planet when it comes to transfer budget than me and Geordie, look who he's just signed. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bang. Marco Royce. He's just signed Marco Royce. 21 million. A dream signing for the Gunners in real life. He's made it a reality. Unbelievable, Jeff. Wow, True Geordie's going all out to get Harry Kane off Spurs. He's offered 2.5 million plus Sim De Jong plus Emmanuel Riviere for Harry Kane. That's a lot of money, but he's a good, talented youngster. Okay, the next game is Spurs at home. De Canio's saying Soldado's the danger. No surprise, he's got 15 goals in 20 starts. Four assists as well. That's deadly. Not like he's doing in real life. My assistant manager is saying we're the underdogs. Now, we drew two all with them when we played them away. So, technically, you think at home we've got a good chance of winning. But it's probably going to show how much worse we've basically got. I don't know why. It's the same players that we're, I think we'll lose. I, I can't see us getting a point. On the form we're on, I can't see us getting anything from this game. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Okay, it's the final game of the episode. It's a big one. I'm at home against my London rival Spurs. It's a big game in the calendar, West Ham Spurs. You don't want to be losing it. Newcastle away to Chelsea. Arsenal at home to Swansea. This is the team I'm going to play. It's a 4-1-3-1-1 formation. Kiate starting in the CDM role. Tomkins and Reed at centre-back. Some of the players were quite tired because we only played the last game a few days ago. So I've changed it up a little bit. Jarvis is starting on the left. Emil Fatano is starting on the right. Zarate is behind Sacco. Now, I've decided if this doesn't work out this game, next episode I'm going to change it up a lot. Carroll's going to get as many starts as possible to give him a chance to prove himself. If he doesn't prove himself, I'm going to do whatever I can to offload him, even if it means selling him at dirt cheap price. Same goes for Matty Jarvis. Zarate and Valencia need to start scoring again. They need to recapture the form they had at the start of the season, if possible. Okay, here we go. Their team, Soldado up top, Lamella, Maxim they've signed. He's a good young player. Townsend, Stambouli, Dembele, Rose, Fazio, Chiriches, Abate they got as well. And Larissa in goal. 
Bloody hell. Come on, boys, just shock me and play well for once. I, I don't believe you'll do it, but please, just surprise me. Cresswell, the free kick. To Morrison, come on. Ravel, what you got? Jarvis, Cresswell. No, we've lost it and they're going to go and score. Watch it happen. Watch it happen. One minute in, nearly two minutes, they're going to go and score. Dembele is going to put it in. Wait for it. It's going to happen. They're going to score. Okay, we've got the ball. Morrison, Sacco. Surely we're not going to score. Sacco, Sacco, Zerate. <laughs> We've scored! Don't be offside! It's not offside! Zerate gets the goal! Come on, boys! I believe! Right, Abate's got the ball for Spurs. Put it into Townsend. Townsend, Dembele, what happened there? Oh, no! Oh! Soldado taps it into an open goal. And it's one all. Maxim, Dembele. Maxim passes to Townsend. I don't like this. Stop him. Stop him! Oh, he can hit them. Half time, we're drawing. If we can just keep this going, I'll be well happy with a draw. Right, they've got a throw in. Oh, for God's sake, what's happening here? Lamella. Oh, good tackle. Come on, Zerate. Use the ball, Zerate. Don't just hold on to it there. That's such a dangerous place to lose it. Townsend, Lamella, Maxim. Oh, my God, the woodwork saved us. Chiriches to Maxim. I don't like this. I do not like this. Do I not like this? Lamella puts it wide. All right, Enna Valencia is coming on up front for Sacco. See what he can do in the last 20 mins. Okay, Stuart Downing's on for Matty Jarvis. Come on, boys. Andy Carroll's come on for Emil Fatano as well. Valencia's gone right mid. Not now. Not now. I can't believe this game. It's offside. It's offside. Yes, there's hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Not long left now. 20 seconds left. I'll take this draw. It means we stopped the run of losses and we've uh, not been beaten by Spurs in both fixtures against them this season, which is decent. But there's seconds left. Are we going to blow the whistle, ref? Just blow the bloody whistle. I beg you. There it is. <sighs> That was exhausting. Right, that's all right. One all draw against Spurs. I'll take it, you know. Zarate gets man of the match. Well done, boys. Well, the good news is we did get a point from this episode that looked like for so long we weren't going to get any. The fans are jubilant after the Tottenham result, so good things are coming. Maybe now I've got an easier run of games in the next few episodes, I can pick up some proper points again. Jordy's now doubled his bid to 5 million plus Tim de Jong and Riviere for Harry Kane. Wow. Let's look at the results from those other games then. Arsenal won 4-1 against Swansea. Decent result. Uh, Newcastle lost 2-0 to Chelsea despite Sammy Kadira being sent off in the 21st minute. Chelsea are dominant, and I think... They are at top of the league now, aren't they? Yes, they are. Two-point lead they've got in United, although United have a game in hand. So do Arsenal, to be fair, who are now up to third. We've levelled off in 14th position. Now we've got a four-point lead on 15th place. Meanwhile, Newcastle are still at the bottom. 14 points. Not looking good for them with 17 games left in the season. I can't see him staying up. I can't see Jordy keeping his job. But that's all the game's done now. Let's have a quick Skype chat with the boys, see how they got on. Oh, boys. Okay, so talk to me about your episodes today. True Jordy. You're still at the bottom of the league, mate. What's going on? Well, the thing is, mate, it's been a while since I've lost, and aside from losing to Chelsea, which, as you know, there's no shame in that. We've stopped the rot. Ron Vlaw, uh, in my first game against Hull, I was I was down 1-0. Steps up rot. This is the realism you only get with football manager, yeah. Ron Vlaw, 20 yards out, free kick over the wall, back of the net. <laughs> what a strike. <laughs> I think he got a, he, he got rated a nine for that game. I don't know where that came from. He's been on a terrible run, but all of a sudden, Ronaldo. On the plus side, though, mate, you picked up a point against Spurs, which is uh, more than I can say Hugh Wizzy's done this season, eh? Oh, you had to go there, didn't you? Literally, <laughs> literally, history repeating itself as if I I needed a reminder of what the scoreline was. A 2-1 defeat against Tottenham. That's now two North London derbies on the trot that I've lost. And uh, I slapped myself around the face for that. However, we have seemingly turned a corner here. It's transfer window. It has opened. We're trying to get Flamini out. He's made, mind me. He has made a £2 million move to <laughs> Zenit St. Petersburg, which I'm absolutely delighted about. Finally, we've got rid of the guy. And Lucas Podolski is very close to signing a deal with uh, CSK in Moscow for £7 million. We've also got offers from Napoli and a couple of others interested. But with that cash and the remainder of our transfer budget, we have released Marco Royce from his claws at uh, Borussia Dortmund. And he will be joining us and bedding in in that left-hand side. Very excited. If, if I could just put it in perspective, lads, quickly, uh, for the people watching, you know, what the transfer window is like behind the scenes. 
it's really like watching Hugh Wizzy do a trolley dash around a supermarket, just hiding everything into his trolley. Like, let's just get as much in as we can, while me and Spencer stand outside holding little charity boxes, hoping that he'll just throw 50 pence in. Let's not pretend that we're in the same predicament, Spence. I mean, we're actually challenging, at least trying to challenge for a title, some honours. Literally, I, it's impossible for me to buy a player. It's impossible for me to buy a player. I couldn't even get someone on a free transfer. The only uh, way I can buy someone is if I sell first. It's not possible. I can't even sell exchange because I couldn't offer the person coming in a contract. I have to sell first. This is the thing though. This is the thing. If I could buy now, I definitely would. But for your position, you might as well gamble, Jordan. You might as well spend exactly. money on something. Exactly, otherwise you're going to get the boot anyway. Let's go for it. Let's roll. Andy Carroll is waiting for, to, for the call, mate. He's waiting for the call. All right, yeah. we'll the, Ars the Arsenal time. boot sale still open, mate, if you're interested. Still here. Okay, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out the other two lads' version of events. Links in the description. And I'll see you on the next episode. Don't go changing.